Yo, what up, you cats? MyScape20 here, and today, guys, what I have here today is boss fight number five against Felicity Rempant. And man, does this chick not want to die. So this is a really, really fun boss fight. And I know you guys say I say that in every video. Um, actually, you don't say that. But you're probably thinking it. And uh, if you weren't, I just brought it to your attention. And I'm really sorry. But this actually is a fun boss fight. You know, she... Um, I love fighting big, like, constructors like this. And it's kind of a spoiler, almost, for Borderlands 2. And I really like that. Um, I love it when this game references Borderlands 2. Because it is a pre-sequel. This is Borderlands 1.5 in a sense, and uh, what I really like about this game is it really ties together uh, Borderlands 1 and 2. Um, it shows you the transition between, you know, you're fighting skags and, you know, people, all the way to, um, then it goes from, like, the General Nox DLC basically to Hyperion in Borderlands 2. And it really, really ties them together, and I think they did a fantastic job about that. Um, but I'm not gonna talk too much about this boss fight. Uh, I will maybe later on in the end when I show you guys what you get. Um, but I want to talk about some future videos for this series. So first thing I want to do, I want to finish the boss fights. So there is nine main storyline boss fights and um, plus one invincible. So we're at five right now. So we have four more to go and the invincible. So I soloed the invincible already. I know you're like wow, but um, it's really not that hard. The the First playthrough Invincible is pretty much a joke, I'm not going to lie. Um, but the second playthrough is, that's when it's at level like 50 something, and um, that's probably when I'll show you guys the Invincible. I don't think you want to see the the first playthrough Invincible. I might show it just to show that I you can solo it really easily, um, so for those that you want to do that. Uh, but after that, then I might throw in one that's actually really hard. So, I want to do that. Also, I have some fun other videos for you guys. I want to do some... Um, skill point guides for these characters and as soon as I'm done with the boss fights that's what I'm gonna hit hard is all the skill point guides uh, really excited about that also what I'm thinking about doing is when I stream I can save the broadcast so I'm thinking about maybe uploading the streams and for those of you who missed it or want to see it or really just have nothing to watch when you're gaming because I don't know about you but I'm I'm the type of person that like likes to watch like either like a live stream or or stream myself or like watch TV when I game I, I don't know what it is but um, I'm really a relaxed kind of gamer, so um, I enjoy doing that. So I want to do that. Also, I have some fun videos of me getting like ridiculous amount of stacks on Athena. I'm talking like 900 something. And for those you don't know what it is, it's each elemental thing you do and some abilities you get stacks. And most of the time, the max people get is like 300 or so. I've got 999, which is the absolute max, and it is hilarious. You are one shotting people. It's doing like 500. Um, plus the normal elemental tick per second and you're just melting everything and it is freaking hilarious and um, I just want to show you guys so yeah we have that also what we have is me and my friend plan on um, getting together and doing a kind of like analysis of the end game so um, by that I mean like what what is the end game of this mean what is the storyline actually telling us because the reason I love this game like I said, uh, it just it ties Borderlands 1 and 2 so great together, and um, it's fantastic. Um, it really is Borderlands 1.5, and I, I just love it. I absolutely love it. So we're going to talk about what does that mean. So I don't want to say anything right now if you're not in the game, um, but I will, will, will definitely in the title put that this will be a spoiler and everything like that. So we're going to sit down. We're going to go over the ending. We're going to go over the story uh, plot, and we're going to like try to understand, like, what happens why that happened and stuff like that i think that'd be really fun also there might be some other videos me showing you there is a secret boss in this game i do plan on showing you guys um and you can get some fantastic loot from that guy i also will be showing a farming guide for lower levels um i farmed this uh i farmed i'm not gonna say it yet but i farmed somebody and you get a lot of stuff from it and it's fantastic way to power level as well get resources if you're not at the level for the secret boss so anyway um i hope you guys you know will stick around for all that and if you have any suggestions on other videos by all means please let me know 
Um, after defeating the boss fight, basically Jack's like, oh, you know what? Forget the old color scheme. Let's go with yellow because it stands out more. And then this is when, from here on out, this is when you really notice um, the Hyperion. So, you know, these are the XP loaders. You know, they run up and they blow up. And you get to, you know, later on in the story mode, you get to equip them with um, explosions. So you can, like, understand, like, you know, what's going on, how they do that. But that's what I really love about this. So after defeating the boss fight, there is a room that opens up. And you are allowed to um, go ahead and open all the chests and see what loot you get inside um i didn't really technically take advantage of that i did in this one but the second playthrough i totally forgot about it and i didn't speaking of that the second playthrough is freaking hard i'm not gonna lie to you it is ridiculously hard and um i don't know if it's just me but i have a lot of trouble with it so yeah so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have please leave a thumbs up um you know if you have any any suggestions on anything please let me know also, I will be live streaming as soon as I can. Um, I have live streamed these past couple times. A couple people showed up, so I'm really thankful for those of you who did. Um, and I guess I'll keep streaming and hoping people come. So, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. So, previous video is boss fight number four against Bozen. And this is actually a really hard boss fight in the second playthrough. Um, I struggled a lot in it. Um, so make sure you go check that out. And featured video is how to get unlimited time in the General Nox's secret armory. And uh, the reason why I'm showing you guys that is I have noticed um, a lot of my subscribers I'm friends with on Xbox. And a lot of them are playing Borderlands 1. So um, I'm not, you know. So if you're getting the DLC, that video is going to help you a lot. It's the best way to get um, weapons and everything in Borderlands 2. I mean, Borderlands 1, so yeah. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want to see more videos just like this one, please leave a thumbs up. Also, best way to contact me is going to be on Twitter, at MyHeroScape20. And if you want to see me play Borderlands, the pre-sequel live, go to twitch.tv slash MyHeroScape20. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.